Alistair. Well, Gawain, with Gawain leading you, you were surprised to find your old friend Morse rotting in Lord Harton's dungeons. You rescued him from certain death at his torturous hands. But your reunion was brief. Just when you found him, your brother was killed by Andrew before your very eyes. Mad with grief, you kill Andrew, but vengeance doesn't bring back the death. But apparently a ritual does. Mars, Jane, on the other hand, was still very much alive and needed your help immediately. Just as you were freeing her from her gilded cage, you were surrounded by Lord Hunter and his men at Top Castlewood's Tower. Thanks to your words on faltering courage, you were able to flee as she shielded you from with her body. With a heavy heart, you turned your back on Jane, following Alistair, who had already jumped off of the tower, and not without promising her you would return. Well, what do you know, we Break our feet. Best to keep going, Alistair. We shouldn't stop now. Relax, Moors. We need to gather our strength. Besides, we haven't seen anyone on our tail since yesterday. They're probably still searching the castle ditches for our bodies. If we see them, it's already too late. Harton won't give up that easily. Maybe if we avoid building fires. Listen, we're soaked, and the wind is like a thousand icy daggers. I would rather die by the sword than by sickness. Fifteen years in the wall's shadow makes you get used to the cold. You will too. I'm not so sure. Anyway, you never did tell me how you ended up in those dungeons. I would have thought you were protected from the political scheming of the Seven Kingdoms up at the wall. Something very important must have happened to get you involved in all that again. It had something to do with the girl, didn't it? Yes. Good old John asked me to protect Jane. Of course. Just like you to take on a dubious mission with nothing but John Aaron's word. True enough. Well, I couldn't protect her by staying at Castle Black. I had to take her south, to get her out of harm's way, where no one would find her. I decided to take her to the house where I'd left my family, but we fell into a trap. Some escort I turned out to be. Your house in the Riverlands? Why the flame did you go there? I thought we would be safe there, and I wanted to see Tyre and Serena again. But do you know what I found? They are graves. They're dead, Alistair. They've been dead all these years, and I had no idea. I took the black only because I thought that you would be protecting them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm his good old friend. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. But what would you have done if you had known? Would you have deserted the wall? You would have been executed for that. What happened? When was it? I don't know. Probably the work of brigands. It was just after the war ended. Soldiers and deserters were scouring the country. There was so much to do. I couldn't stay with your family each and every day. But when I returned to them, it was already too late. I paid them my last respects and buried them. It was all I could do. That's all? You swore you would protect them, you bastard. You gave me your oath. You knew they were dangerous lands, and you left them in the middle of nowhere. Blame me all you want if it helps you. I have cursed myself more than you ever could. I doubt that. You would already have stuck a knife in your chest. <laughs> you were already at the wall. You didn't know what was happening at the time. Armies in disarray, everyone clamoring to win the new king's favor, scores being settled. I did what I could to protect your family, and I failed. But it was not me that put them in danger in the first place. So now you blame me? I was ready to receive my punishment. 
and you urged me to take the black to avoid it. They would have had nothing to fear if I'd never listened to you. Horse shit! They would have died anyway, along with you. The moment you defied Lord Tywin Lannister, you condemned them along with yourself. I should never have let you do something so reckless. So you think I should have murdered Princess Elia? A young girl and her barely weaned children. I could never carry out such an order. But you had to. It was war. The Lannisters had to prove their loyalty to the Baratheons. Lord Tywin could not allow one of his knights to refuse an order at the time. You know the reins of Castamere as well as I do, Mors. Tywin Lannister is so merciless that a song was made of his cruelty. You knew your refusal would put your family in danger, but that didn't matter, did it? Your precious honor always comes first. Damn you, Alistair. It's easy for you, isn't it? You have always acted first without regard for consequences, leaving others to pay for what you've done. After you left, I fell into disgrace and was left to take care of your family. And what good did it do? Did you know that Lord Tywin ordered Gregor the Mountain to do the job you refused? The way in which he massacred the princess and her children is one of the most vile stories to come out of that damned war. You could not have saved them. You condemned Tyre and Serena and you dragged me down with you. So much for all the good that came of your fucking honor. Well, I think he's right. <laughs> Will Mars think he's right? I think he would. What you say is true. I only wanted to do the right thing. I didn't think of the consequences. May the Father have mercy on me. I was responsible for destroying my own family. We both failed, my friend. If I had known what would happen, I would have asked to kill Elia myself. What irony. I was ready to die when I made that choice. And here I am, still alive, when those I wanted to protect are dead. Jane, I can save her. I swore I would do it. Ah, uh, yes. Jane. I know you, Mors. You would go alone to rescue her from Halton if you had to. I have my own matters to settle with that little shit. I will go with you. Thank you, old friend. Now, tell me. I still don't know who this girl is, and what everyone wants with her. She is of Targaryen blood. And on top of that, she is carrying the unborn bastard of King Robert. John Arryn knew about the child, and tried to hide her by sending her north. Because of that, there are many who will do anything to get their hands on her and her child. I see. Halton is using her child to rally the supporters of the old regime to his cause. If only it were just Halton. Even your bastard brother is after Jane. I was aware of that, yes. I heard about this. It's not just Valar that we have to deal with here. That snake has done well for himself since the rebellion. He's now in the service of the Queen herself. How do you know all of this? Halton may well be a little shit, but he's very well informed. He told me that the Queen herself had charged Valar with bringing her the head of your dear Jane. Valar. I look forward to destroying him myself. I've watched how he works. He has changed. He is a powerful enemy now. We should deal with Jane first. Once we have her, we can go after your brother. We need supplies and a plan if we're to rescue Jane from Halton's grasp. We should go back to River Spring. Agreed. Well, what are we waiting for? Who knows? River Spring. How do you suffer this place? To draw breath is to suffocate. This is my home, Moors. My people, my land, my town. 
I suppose the wall is far better? All right, you win. All right. Let me... Uh. Yeah, search the town of King Landing for recruits. All right. Let me save, you fucking piece of shit. Okay. Let me be back in a moment. 